first year I went on the trip, because it was a history club trip, advertised as a history club trip, never been to Gettysburg. Uh, Civil War is not really my era, but uh, I figured I'd go, because uh, I had some friends going, and uh, to see what it's all about. I've always had an interest in Gettysburg, um, from a young age, from my father. He took us there a lot as children. And so the first year I went because of that, but this year I went because of Mr. Bowley. He is so good at making the story really human and kind of bringing it home. I guess uh, I continued and went every four years, actually because of Mr. Valley. Uh, the way he just tells the stories, uh, he really got me interested a lot more into the 19th century and into the Civil War. I went on the trip because I heard with, through History Club that it was a really uh, life-changing trip and it was a lot of fun at the same time. And I've actually never been to Gettysburg, so um, I definitely wanted to go and it really was a life-changing experience. It opened my eyes to a different side of the battlefield, see the more personal side, you see the stories behind the monuments and behind the different areas of the battlefield, uh, which you don't normally see, you have to do the research in order to do that, and that's what Mr. Valley says. I never realized how much of a story the monuments tell, and um, if it wasn't for Mr. Valley and uh, Mr. Dr. Ailman, um, I probably would have never really had a second glance. I probably would have been a typical Tom and Tammy tourist. So it was great to see like the tales behind everything and actually go into the battlefield instead of driving through and being put in situations that I would never have been in. It was incredible. I, uh, I've been to the battlefield once before and I mean, I thought, you know, just like how Mr. Valley says, there's the Tommy and Tammy tourists who come and they think they see the battlefield and they don't. And I was right in that category. I didn't, no idea what what happened at that battlefield. I had so much fun. I mean, the year before I learned so much, and when you go again, it's you pick up on different things, you hear kind of new information that maybe you missed the first time. The Gettysburg trip is always such a great time because of the people who go on it. Uh, every year, it's there's you know you got your folks that always go on the trip, but it's always a new group of people. I always end up meeting people on the trip, and uh, you have a good time with them and. Uh, it's always the best group of people that you could possibly want to be with. And Mr. Valley on the way back said to uh, ask the van what was our best experience here at Siena and I definitely, I mean I honestly think that that was my favorite thing that, I, that I've experienced so far at Siena. I really have a lot to thank Mr. Valley for. He has changed my outlook on interpretation, uh, telling st the stories of people, historical people because they are people and it's one of the things that you know historians forget is that these are people these are fellow human beings the stories need to be told in that in that way with that in mind the man is so knowledgeable he's so intelligent knows all these different stories but on top of that he is extremely considerate and he has the wit of someone my age. And he, know, he knows how to relate to the students, which is always important. He has to be one of my favorite men on this campus. Absolutely love him. I have said countless times to all of my friends that he would be such a great grandpa. I wish he was one of mine. Um, we actually grew really close this time, um, doing my best to keep him in line on the trip, being the keeper of the backpack for most of the trip. He's just the greatest guy. Not only the best, best professor I've ever had, but just a really great role model and mentor. I think he's perfect for what he does. He's just a really great uh, professor. I, I mean, I took his military history class this semester and I learned so much. And again, even in class, he makes it really personal. He'll tell a personal story. He doesn't just see statistics or facts. He sees personal stories and actual people who made history. And he's helped me appreciate that I never really had before. Whereas other history classes, you kind of, OK, this is the date. This is what happened. And while that I find that fascinating, I feel like anybody who even isn't the biggest fan of history that will take Mr. Valley's classes or go on the Gettysburg tour will learn so much from it. He didn't even believe me. He asked me one of my um, like one of my favorite professors were on campus in the best classes that I've taken, and I said he was one of them, and he didn't believe me. And he was like, you're just saying that because I'm sitting in the car with you. And I was like, no, I'm actually serious. He makes a trip. He makes the trip special. He better keep going with the trip, because really, I really want to come back next year and go, well, 
drive myself down, but still. I wish him all the best. Um, I'll be graduating, so he won't see me in my little corner in the library anymore, but um, I'm sure he'll still be around messing with students and carrying on his legacy, and um, I wish him all the best in his retirement from the library. He's still going to be teaching, so he's still going to be on campus, and he's still going to be doing the tours, but just, I don't know, I guess having his presence in the library will be missed. Thanks, Mr. Valley, for uh, for a great four years here. Uh, and I'm sorry for never taking your military history class, but uh, maybe I'll uh, try to sneak in as a freshman next year. In my mind, he is a valuable part of our of our Seattle community, and he will be missed dearly in that library.